Hi everybody, it's me, Colleen McCray Katz, coming at you from Havertown, Pennsylvania. And you might wonder why I have a goal post made out of cooking cream. Well, because tonight I'm going to be making something I call hometown hoagies. Here in Philadelphia, we don't call our sub sandwiches subs, we call them hoagies. And they're pretty special. We use one particular bakery for our rolls here in Philadelphia, and I happen to have a huge 24 inch roll from that bakery here to use tonight and I'm going to make something a little different than your usual hoagie but I'll explain to you the differences as we go along. So I'm going to get set up here and I'll be back in just a minute. So whether you're like me and your team didn't quite make it to the Super Bowl or you're like my son-in-law and you're cheering for one of the two that are in the Super Bowl. A lot of people are having Super Bowl parties and this is a great thing to serve at a Super Bowl party. And what I have is my giant long Italian roll. You could also use some French bread or any long baguette like that that you could get at your supermarket. Um, I have two pounds of roast pork you could use ham, roast beef, roast turkey, any kind of meat that you want. Okay, so we have the bread, the meat, we have a head of iceberg lettuce, I have two really nice beefsteak tomatoes, and 10 ounces of our Santa Fe blend cooking cream. And what this is going to do, usually when you make hoagies, you use capicola, you use salamis, you use really, really spicy meats. But I'm not going to do that. I just have some roast pork here. And this is going to give us all of our spices for our sandwich. I'm going to also use some olive oil. And I'm going to toast up our bread to make it nice and crisp and crunchy for our sandwich. So I'm going to get started here. I'm just going to move some things out of the way and we're going to get started pretty quickly doesn't take long to get this done. You need a serrated knife like this to slice bread. It's just what you need. It really does a good job. See how easily that slices into the bread? And you just slice your bread right in half lengthwise. And we're going to open it all the way up. Now, I, I know in Philadelphia, we can actually get these to be six feet long in some of our hoagie shops. This is about 24 inches, about two feet long. Okay, so now I have my pastry brush. And I have a quarter cup of olive oil. And we're just going to brush it into the bread. And that's going to do a couple things. It's going to let the bread crisp up without getting dried out and it's also going to help keep your cooking cream from absorbing into the bread too much. You want that to stay on top because you want those flavors to be in your sandwich. And I'm not putting, usually when you do this with a hoagie, when they put oil on a hoagie they put oregano and they put maybe a little garlic and they add a, a lot of spices to the rolls. I'm not doing that because all of my spices are going to come from the Santa Fe blend cooking cream. And this is really full of flavor, so you really don't need anything else. So now, I'm just going to get my baking sheet. I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees. And I'm just going to pop my bread in there. On a, the top rack is fine because we're not trying to cook it. We're just letting it get a little bit crispy. Okay, so here's a little trick that I found a few years ago on how to get your core out of a head of lettuce. Sort of get your aggravation out too. You take the core and you bang it on the edge of your sink. And eventually it pops right out. Just like that. Now, I have to get my knife because as I said we really shred up our lettuce 
in Philadelphia. We do not go for big leaves or anything like that. And as a matter of fact, this is not even shredded up enough. I'm going to have to go at it again with the knife because they like it. Shred it, shred it, shred it. It is not cool on a hoagie to have anything but shredded lettuce. Really, really shred it and chopped up. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm back with my tomatoes. And what we do is we like to take off the top. You need a really sharp knife because these tomatoes, I'm going to let take out that little bit in the middle, are really ripe. And if you don't have, sorry, I'm turning my hand away. A really sharp knife, you're not going to be able to get these tomatoes sliced the way that you need them to be sliced. And I slice them as thinly as I possibly can. If you could read a newspaper through them, that's about right. Because you want to be able to overlap them and pile them up on your hoagie. Okay, so our bread has toasted up and is ready to come out of the oven. See how nice and crunchy that is? Look at that. It's perfect. You want to assemble your sandwich. And we have to scrunch it in a little bit. On the platter that you're going to use for serving because you don't want to have to move it too much. Uh, and I'm going to start assembling. Now one ingredient that I didn't mention on my ingredients up front is cheese. I like American cheese. Now provolone is really the traditional hoagie cheese, but I like American cheese, so that's what I usually get. And we just start piling our meat on. Now I think I'm going to be done. That's about a pound, pound and a half of meat. Next comes our lettuce. And this is also piled. And it's okay that it's falling off of the sandwich. Now I didn't put the cheese on. You can do that now. Or you can do it before you put on your lettuce. It's up to you. And we just lay them on point, end to end, all the way down the roll. These tomatoes, I had to have a little piece of them. Here, that's fine. And now, we're going to add our very favorite thing to cook with, the Philadelphia cooking cream in the Santa Fe blend. And this is going to add all of our spices and all our flavor to our hoagie. And you're going to use the entire tub and spread it all the way down our roll. Okay, I'm going to get the last of it out of here and really get it on there. Let me put our lid on. Look at that! That is a beautiful, beautiful hoagie. You stick toothpicks in like this so that they it stays together. All the way along like this. Like When you have a six foot hoagie, this is what you're going to get. Toothpicks all the way along. And then you just slice right between the two clips. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look. Look. Yummy. And I happen to have some little football plates. You serve it on a little football plate and you're ready for your Super Bowl party. And you've got enough here to serve six or eight people. Isn't that great? A home, home team hoagie from Philadelphia with love. Bye-bye.